But right now, it's time for us to take another trip to Casa de Campo, and today he's promised us a look around his vineyard. Ooh, get rid of that, then. <laughs> Welcome back to my home on the beautiful island of Sardinia. Yesterday, my heart was filled with rain. The heart of the Italian table should always start with beautiful, fresh ingredients. When I was growing up, I didn't have the space to grow any vegetable or any fruits. So I'm lucky now that I do have the space, and I want my children to have the experience of understanding where things come from. So I'm gonna tie this little baby up to make sure that the wind doesn't make him suffer. There you go, that's done. I think each tree will give me probably about two and a half to three kilos of tomato. Definitely I won't be able to eat them all, but I got lots of friends so they can come here and pick them as well. This is the vineyard where I make my Gino Vino. It's a little bit young, it's between three and a half to four years old, and I have to say, my wine didn't get the greatest of review. Oh, Cheers, so Gordon. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Ah. Oh. It's paint stripper. It's, it's nice. No, but red wine shouldn't be that strong. Look at your yeah, face. Yeah, I like my wine, strong. Did you wine. serve that in your restaurants? This not, not this year. Seven. But what do they know about wine anyway? I guarantee you that this year I can feel it because every time I talk to them and every time I sing to them, they talk to me back and they promise me that this year is going to be yet the best Gino Vino ever. I don't produce many bottles, probably I do about three to four hundred bottles, but that is enough for my wife and I. So Gino Vino for all here. This year is going to be fantastic. I'll show you, Mr. Ramsey. As well as tending to my vines, I walk the dogs, water the plants, I even mow the lawn. And sometimes I get a bit carried away. But I always spend time putting my feet up to relax. I laugh and play in a carefree way and I have a heck of a time. When I'm at home on a day like today, I like to keep things simple. And this is one of my all-time favorite dishes. Mozzarella in carrozza. And I won't point it out to the fact that this used to be my father's favorite recipe. My mom used to make it for him at least once a week. I'm gonna do the classic way with mozzarella and basil pesto. And where it all starts is with this bread. This is our version of sandwich bread that we have in Italy. Sandwich, which by the way, in Italian we say tramenzino, tramenzino. And this is the kind of bread, no crust, okay? Only the middle part. Then for the mozzarella, I'm using buffalo mozzarella. But the secret is this, look what I've done. I slice the buffalo mozzarella and then I'll put it on kitchen paper so it drains any excess milk. Crack the eggs and put in some milk. Then salt and pepper, make sure that you're seasoning. Mix everything together like this. Don't over whisk it, I don't really want to see bubbles. I've made some beautiful basil pesto, have a look at that. Look at that, with pecorino cheese inside, extra virgin olive oil. I like to make pesto and use them in these uh, uh, jars because then I can put it in the fridge, I can use it with pasta or if I make myself a nice panino. Put some breadcrumbs into a tray and add the flour into another. The bread, I'm gonna put it on a chopping board. I'm gonna flatten down. The reason why I do that is because then the bread becomes elastic. We're gonna put one slice of mozzarella on one end. That is gonna go on top, like this. And then very simply, we fold it and we close it. All the sizes that are open, just gently dip it in the milk and the egg. And then with your finger, press it down, like this. You seal the mozzarella and the pesto into the bread. Yeah. Perfect. It goes into the flour with your left hand. Then with your left hand, it goes into the egg. And after it's gone into the egg, it goes into the breadcrumb. And then you use your right hand. So press down slightly. Fry in only for two minutes on each side. Listen to this, right? That's what you want. Crispy outside using mozzarella with the pesto. If I pick one up, what you want, 
the out hot. Oh. Is this? Oh. That is what the mozzarella in carrozza is all about. Oh my good gracious. I can't tell you how delicious these are. They are like, I mean, for, for what is essentially a deep fried sandwich, is, it's one of the best things I've ever eaten. And the thing um, is. That's your second one. <laughs> You've already eaten one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did actually eat one. Um, and Gino sent some wine as well. Very nice, now, Which, apart from the fact that... Bought, I... That's his second one of those as well. <laughs> Gino's wine <laughs> is, is legendary in the fact that it's so horrible. But it's really nice. That's amazing. Is that his? Mm? That's not his. Look at the label. Gino De Campo. No wonder it tasted good. Yeah. Sneaky sneak. Because you can light fires with his. <laughs> mm, that's all very tasty. Very Lovely. Good.